went a while with that fucking nuclear we thing. We did go a little long. What it is, is... I know. Oh, you could hear us? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Dr. Cocker, you... Hi, hi Dr. Cocker. You, you could hear yes, us? Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. This well, is... he knows Opie and Anthony. Yeah, this again. is a little awkward, because we kind of moved on from nuclear fusion, and now, yeah, we're, well, we're, okay. now we're getting back to telling dick jokes. But we were talking about... Uh, a, a listener called up and said that he has constructed um, a, a device which uses... Um, what, the, what the hell is that water? Do, uh, it's heavy water. The heavy water. Uh, yeah, heavy thing. water, and and uh, he starts the reaction. Detrium with, or something like that. No. Deuterium. The the tr yeah. Do you know Doctor? Deuterium. Deuterium. Right. What about deuterium? And and this guy uses deuterium and an electric current to make a reaction that is self-sustaining. He says. Um, well, I doubt it's nuclear fusion. Uh, 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 tritium is the chemical that's missing here. You want right. tritium and tritium. And tritium is slightly radioactive, extremely rare, mm -hmm. and um, I doubt that he has anything more than maybe a simple chemical reaction. Yeah, uh, it's, some, reactions, yeah? it's some kind of electrical uh, uh, reaction. He, he's got a, an anode and a cathode and... Um, He's making some type of uh, plasma reaction in in this uh, heavy water, uh, but he says it is indeed self-sustaining. Yeah, I tend to doubt that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that... because nuclear reactions are extremely hard to generate. Uh, you know, you basically generate them in stars and in hydrogen bombs. And right. Doing it in somebody's basement is highly unlikely. Yeah, well, he was also saying it wasn't nuclear, which to me is a little odd. I, I don't know what type of reaction he was talking about. Uh, he didn't have palladium or any other chemical involved, right? Just deuterium? Yes, just yeah, deuterium and, uh, and He's a an bit anode, drunk. a cathode, a little cage around um, uh, the uh, w one of his de of devices. What you, was it the anode or the cathode? I think it's the cathode, and he had a battery from Radio Shack. I don't know what he had. Yeah, but but he's no. saying he's saying he was able to make a self-sustaining power device uh, in his basement, <laughs> and, and wants to make it smaller and in the uh, uh, the size of a suitcase. Well, I really doubt it. I mean, even people who believe in cold fusion right. require palladium uh, in order to get a reaction going. And even then, some people dispute whether or not that, that works. So getting deuterium or heavy water to suddenly undergo some kind of nuclear reaction with a car battery, I think, is out of the question. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. We just wanted to confirm it with you. about evil. Uh -huh. Yeah. Could something like that be used for evil? Uh, well, uh, who knows in the future? Uh, people have tried to do cold fusion experiments uh, for many, many decades and have failed. Uh, you know, Mother Nature does it, but Mother Nature takes a star to do it. Yes, and, uh, exactly. Like you, you're a star these days. I see you all over the place. You're oh, well, thank great. You. Uh -huh. what, 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 are we, what are we looking forward to as far as uh, what Dr. Michio Kaku is doing on uh, TV? Uh, well, first of all, I'm coming out with a new book next oh. week. Yeah, it's called... Cares. Oh my God! Oh no! You didn't. <laughs> we cares. are never getting it. Who cares? <laughs> it was really that one. You know something? Who I've cares? seen it done a thousand times. Cares. And I really, I, it it shocks me sometimes. And that one got me. Who cares? Who cares? I'm sure we there's did. one person out there, at least, that is laughing his ass off. Uh, it starts with Doctor and ends with Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> we, we did enough radio for the eggheads. <laughs> oh, we got to get back to doing dummy radio. Uh, well, dummy radio. Who's going to clean up my mess? I love that someone has to clean up my yeah. mess. Just say uh, it's the, the phone's screwed up. We oh. apologize. Wait, yeah, well, no, get the name uh, of... Uh, what happened? I don't know what happened. I don't know. The yeah. phone's, the phone's you, a screw. You hear me? You, yeah, you were talking where you, where about you, your book. Yeah, where are you calling from? Because uh, your phone crapped out. Uh, sorry about that. I'm calling from MIT. I'm in uh, Boston. Oh, well, right you would now. think they would oh. have good cell service. Are you looked yeah. at at MIT like a hero? Or are you looked at like somebody that's sold out? You're not evil over there, are you? <laughs> no, I'm here for a meeting of the Science Channel here at, the, uh, at MIT. Are you, oh. oh. 
You're on the Science yeah. Channel? My yeah. favorite show. Yeah. I watch the Science Channel. Love the Science Channel. An Idiot Abroad. Yeah. Yeah, and also let me uh, let me. Think about, uh, Isn't that on the science channel? Yes, it is. Right, it is. See, there's yes. a, there's something for everyone on the science yes, channel. Yes, smart and idiots. You don't need to be right. an egghead. Uh, right. Yes. Anyway, well, my 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 new book comes out next week. It's called. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look. Call them, just call them and say, we're having a problem with our phones. We apologize. Get the name of the book <laughs> and tell them we'll plug it later and stuff. Uh, uh, the name of his book. Just, please, put a patch on this fucking tire. But he's calling back. What the hell's wrong with the phones today? I'm really embarrassed, man. Yeah. We got, we got a brilliant, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really embarrassed. We got a brilliant mind on the phone, and we're. It looks like we're having a, a problem with our phones today, sir. Yeah. They're, sorry they're, they're saying something about um, solar flares or something are, are happening today. Is that true? Uh, well, uh, last month we had a gigantic solar flare that, oh. that almost hit the Earth. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I, heard, I read about that one. Those things can do some damage to our electrical uh, system, huh? Uh, yeah, up to $6 trillion dollars damage in the worst case scenario. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Uh, anyway, I, I keep getting interrupted. We get, yeah, get I know. Your book. But, I want to hear about your book. Anyway, it's about the next 100. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't take this. I'm going to have to leave. <laughs> I can't. Oh my God! It's Doctor Michu Kaku. This guy's a legendary who the, physicist. Who the hell is he? Oh, oh God! Oh God! Can Mars fix the? Oh, you got Mars? You got Mars to fix? It? Yeah, he fixed it. It was a. Uh, yeah, it was one. Actually, it was something stupid and mechanical. Something laying on one of the buttons. Mm. Oh God! God, uh, Doctor Kaku. Dr. Kaku, I apologize again. That was a mechanical yeah. problem. Uh, the book. Let's hear about the book. Yeah, anyway, it's about the next 100 years. Uh-huh. And I've interviewed 300 of the world's top scientists. Right. To get the best picture of what 2100 will look like. Oh, and what are, what are some of the, uh, <laughs> what are some of the uh, things we might be seeing in well, the next example, 100 years? Well, you know, the, the Internet will be in your contact lens probably within the next 10 to 20 years. Well, if you don't wear contacts. <laughs> yeah. So I know, blink, I'm kidding, of you course. You blink and you go online. Really? And your contact lens will recognize people's faces. You'll always know who you're talking to and translate what they're saying as they speak in a foreign language. Oh, we need that for Roland. Yeah. Because that's a far foreign language, we this sure guy uh, over here, over here having a pizza party today. Um, and uh, what, uh, what other uh, big things can we look forward to in the next 100 years? A lot of people make these calls, and uh, quite frankly, very rarely do they hit it uh, right. Um, yeah, well, I've interviewed the scientists who are actually inventing the future. Oh. I've seen prototypes of all these things. For example, we'll communicate with computers via the mind. We'll mentally be able to move objects around us, mentally communicate with uh, computers. Oh. And uh, basically, we'll, we'll have the power of, a, of the gods of mythology. Yes. Yes, the that... mythology you recall could snap their fingers, create objects, move things. They had ageless bodies, uh, perfect bodies, and they had chariots that could take them to the sky. So we'll we'll have a life somewhat similar to the gods of mythology. Yes, I hear you. Well, that's uh, fantastic. And when is that book uh, coming out? Next week, Physics of the Future. Physics uh, we're talking of the to Future. Newsweek magazine about excerpting it. Oh, great. At uh, the new Newsweek. That's very good. That's uh, right. Wonderful. Uh, Dr. Michio Kaku, thank you so much. Okay. All right, thank and you, you take as as care. Connection. Uh, yeah, I know. Sorry about yeah, that. It happens. It happens. What about TV? Uh, what about TV? Any shows coming up? Uh, well. <laughs> I can't. End of story. <laughs> so to speak. Uh, uh, okay. So to speak, literally. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. I did. I had to set him up on that. 
<laughs> yeah, you did. I feel, I feel bad, but it's the only way it really little, could have ended. You're a little more guilty than people realize. Yeah. Uh, but, <clears throat> I'm, I'm a bad cop that has to sometimes play good cop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's fantastic. And then you get a few babies out there. Ooh, oh, clam up. <laughs> Look at the babies. <laughs> is, that what they, is that what they do? That's what I see when they write. <laughs> All annoyed. We <laughs> do. You guys. <laughs> Dr. Kaku is going to hit us with a particle ray or something <laughs> it probably will. Fucking... let's get this mike star thing done yeah it's been uh teased about so mike star the mike star is in the galaxies mm, no no he's, he's done yeah this this star is down in a hole goodbye oh see, i got it see what right? i did there huh yes uh mike star leaves a voicemail for his drug dealer the night before his death this is always creepy shit Hey, what's up? It's Mike Starr, Allison James. 